in the last lecture we learned how to implement routing in angular and there we implemented five routes for our angular application so these are the five routes which we implemented in our last lecture we implemented a route for root url for this home path about path contact path and courses path so if i go to the browser there you will notice that currently in the address path we have typed root url and for the root url the view of home component has been rendered if i say root url slash about in that case the view of about component will be rendered in the web page and if i say root url slash contact in that case the view of contact page will be rendered in the web page and if i say root url slash home then the view of home component will be rendered in the web page so our routing is working as expected but there is one problem here and the problem is if i type something in the address bar for which we have not defined it out for example root url slash services and if i press enter you see in between the header and the footer component nothing has been rendered and we have been redirected to root url and if i open developer console in the console you will see that we have an error let me actually increase the font size of this developer console here so there you will see that we have an error and the error says cannot match any routes for the url segment services that's because we have not defined any route for the path services in the same way if i say root url slash products slash maybe category slash iphone if i press enter in this case the path will be product slash category slash iphone so if i press enter again we should not see any view in between the header and the footer component and in the error message it should say cannot match any routes for the url segment product slash category slash iphone so this product slash category slash iphone is the path which we have typed after the root url and for that path we have not defined any route so that's why we have this error now in order to resolve this error what we can do is let me go ahead and let me close this developer console here let's go to vs code and in here we are going to create a new route and this route should be called whenever none of the above routes match so for example if the user has typed root url slash services in that case the path is services and for none of these routes we have specified the path as services in that case this route which we are going to create that should be called so here we are going to create a new route and for this route we need to specify a path and for the path we are going to specify the value as two asterisks so when we specify the path as two asterisks that means it is going to match every path which has been typed in the address bar and when this route will be called in that case we want to show the view template of not found component so in here you will notice that i have a component called not found let me go to the html file of this not found component and in there we are displaying a message inside this paragraph and there we are saying the page you are looking for cannot be found please check the url or try again later and after that we are also displaying this h1 element with this message 404 page not found so it is this view which we want to render in the web page whenever the user types a url for which we have not defined a route so here for this route we are going to specify the component as not found component okay so this two asterisk simply means that it is going to match all the path which the user has typed in the address bar so when this route will be called in that case the view template of not found component will be rendered in the web page let's see this in action so let's save the changes let's go to the web page and currently in the address bar the root url is typed so for that the view of home component has been rendered if i type root url slash courses in that case the view of courses component should be rendered but if i type root url slash services for this services we have not defined any route so what will happen is this services it will match this path okay so when we have typed root url slash services that services path first it will be compared with the path of this first route 
it will not match then it will be compared with the path of the second route here also it will not match then it will be compared with the path of third route fourth route and this fifth route and none of these path matches services then after that that services path will be matched with this two asterisks and as i mentioned earlier these two asterisks will simply match all the paths so that services path that will also match these two asterisks and in that case the view of this not found component will be rendered in the web page so if i go to the web page and if i press enter here for that path you will notice that the view of not found component has been rendered and also if i open developer console now you will not see any error in the developer console so now you can type any url in the address bar for example services slash all service and if i press enter again it will show the view template of not found component because we have not defined any route for this service slash all services path but if i type a path for which we have defined a route for example home in that case the view of home component will be rendered if i say about in that case the view of about component will be rendered okay but if i say some path for which we have not defined a route for example we have not defined any route for this login path and in this case if i press enter again we will see this 404 page not found so in this way this route will handle all the paths which the user has typed in the address bar if that path has not been handled already by the above mentioned routes and that's why this route is called as wildcard route this route will be called only if none of the above routes have been matched a wildcard route is that route which matches every route path and in angular the wildcard route is specified using two asterisk signs and a very important point to note here is that a wildcard route must be specified at the end of all the defined routes let's try to understand why is that currently we are adding this wildcard route after all other routes which we have added here and that is how we should be using the wildcard route it should always be defined at the end of the route list now the reason why we need to do it in this way is because as i mentioned these two asterisks it will match all the paths which the user will type in the address bar so it will also match root url slash home root url slash about root url slash contact root url slash courses and even root url so if i go to the web page and here if i type root url slash let's say about in this case the path is about so this path will be matched with the path of these routes and the comparison will happen in the order in which we have defined the route so the order in which we have defined the route that is very important so here what will happen is that about path it will be matched with the path of this first route here it will not match it will go to the second route and again that path will be matched with the path of this second route again the path will not match because in the address bar we have typed about but here the path is home so this will not match again it will go to the next route and there it will compare the path and here the path will match and at this line since the path has matched the view of this about component will be rendered in the web page and the comparison will stop there but if we put this wildcard route let's say at the top let me cut it from here and let me put it at the top in that case what will happen is whatever url we will type in the address bar that path will match this two asterisks so in that case the view of this not found component will be rendered so any path we type in the address bar that is going to match this path and in that case the view of this component will be rendered in the web page so these routes will never get checked and this route it will be called for every path we type in the address bar because this path it is going to match every url which we type in the address bar so for each url always the view of this not found component will be rendered in the web page let's actually see that so let's go to the web page and you see for the about path also it is rendering the view of not found component 
if I simply type root URL for that also the view of not found component has been rendered if I say root URL slash home for that also the view of not found component has been rendered and it does not matter what I type here that path is going to match these two asterisks and in that case the view of this component will be rendered so it does not matter what I type inside this address bar it is always going to render this same view if I type services in that case also it is going to render the same view and that's why this route this wildcard route it should always be specified at the end of the route list okay and now if I go to the web page now our application should be working so if I type root URL and if I press enter it shows the view of home page if I say root URL slash home it shows the view of home page if I say root URL slash about it shows the view of about page if I say root URL slash contact it shows the view of contact page but if I say root URL slash something for which we have not defined it out for example services in that case this 404 page has been shown if I say root URL slash login for this login also we have not defined any route in that case also we should see this 404 page not found now one very important point you need to remember here is that here we are simply showing a 404 page not found page but we are not setting the response status to 404 that's because this page we are showing it from our client application and from the client we cannot manipulate the response